I am Jenny Warren and I am a Gold Premier with Perfectly Posh and I just wanted to talk to you guys about Instagram 101. These are just some tips that you guys can use and if you've never done Instagram before or you're thinking um, you tried Instagram and it didn't really work for you or maybe you do it but you don't have a lot of success I'm hoping that you can take some of these tools and it can help you grow your Instagram business so my first tip for Instagram is have a separate Instagram than your personal account so you must in my opinion separate the two this is because when you start to hashtag and you make your posts uh, you have people coming to your Instagram page for specific reasons and unfortunately they don't want to see pictures of your cute kids or your cute dogs or your new car or your new house all that stuff's great but that is better for a personal Instagram because you want to keep business on your posh Instagram account so let's say that you take a picture of your dog and you talk about the fact that it's cruelty free well that's totally fine that's awesome that is posh related so that would be a fine picture to share on your Instagram business but I suggest you separate the two so you don't have those issues when you are making your Instagram and you're trying to grow followers so that's the first tip <clears throat> The second tip that I have is make your Instagram nice and clean and beautiful and fun. Make it inviting. Like, don't worry about graphics. Like, graphics are just, you know, I'm sorry. Don't make it about a lot of wording. Wording is not what people want to read, okay? We're realizing that this is um, a, a place for millennials okay and millennials don't really want to you know go to a spot and or go to an Instagram account and they just want to see instant gratification they want to see pictures they want to get entertained you know this is what they want okay so don't worry about putting a bunch of graphics. If you want to reiterate the fact that you have your link in your bio, okay? You don't have to put it all over your page or all over your graphics because you're going to tell people, my link is in my bio. And if they are an Instagram person, they're gonna know your link is in your bio. So that's my second tip, okay? My third tip is crossing over okay so this is about talking about things that interest you and sorry let's take that out okay let's talk about cross okay I just forgot the word let's talk about cross branding okay this is your third tip cross branding okay cross branding is so important okay because when you have viewers and you have algorithm of perfectly posh that's a hashtag but let's say that you like put in your post strategically your reading glasses okay these are guest glasses so when I hashtag perfectly posh I'm also going to hashtag guess or I have a Tiffany necklace on okay I can hashtag Tiffany and company if I'm in the picture I have on Too Faced makeup I can hashtag Too Faced if I'm holding a perfectly posh product so this is called cross branding so when you put all these hashtags into your post the algorithm is going to break them up and put them into the individual algorithms of what the specific topic is and so somebody who likes nice makeup like Too Faced is going to start possibly following you because they're going to come to perfectly posh your Instagram and follow you because you have the cross branding okay so that's the next tip um, when you go and you make a post and this is going to help you so so much okay 
This is going to change your life. So I am an iPhone person, but if you're a droid, I've heard that it is in the notes of the droid, but in an iPhone, you're going to create a post in the, the notes. So I think it's notes and memo. I'm not positive on that, but I'm just telling you, you're going to write a script basically of your Instagram. So you're gonna write your title, oh my gosh, Poppy Love is amazing. If you want to give back, if you buy Poppy Love chunk soap, then Perfectly Posh donates a chunk soap to someone who has gone through the hurricane disaster. Okay? <clears throat> so you're going to write that title. Then you're going to do nine dots. And the reason you're going to do this is because, first of all, you cannot do that in Instagram. You have to write it first in the notes or the memo. So you're going to do dot, 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 and you're going to do nine because you're going to make it nice and clean so all you see when you look at your picture is simply the wording, okay? And you want it to be catchy and fun and, you know, it, you want it, people to want to read it and tell a beautiful story with your picture and tell a beautiful story with what you've written in there. So then afterwards, you're going to do your hashtags. The great thing about it is when you do the hashtags, then you go back in again and you copy and you paste it to your Instagram. Well, the next time, all you have to change is the beginning line of what you're going to say. The hashtags can be the same and obviously the dots are gonna be the same. Um, and it is amazing because you don't have to sit there and memorize all those things that you know, you hashtag the previous time. Because that's a lot of hashtags. By the way, you can only hashtag 30 hashtags. If you try to hashtag more, then it will not post with the text, and you'll realize that. Um, also, there is an app called Mosaic, and you can actually map out or ahead of time, and you can actually schedule a post. You still have to type up your text, and you still have to, it will remind you and you have to like uh, send it to the Instagram. Like you physically have to send it. But you can go ahead and you can schedule all those posts one night when you're, you know, not doing anything in Mosaic. Mosaic costs money one time. I think it's like $5.99. But then after that, it's completely free. But you can kind of, you want, when you look at your Instagram as a whole, you want it to kind of, like the colors to pop all over. Um, it doesn't have to be some freaky sequence or whatever, but you want things to be colorful and eye-catching. So if you have uh, a product that has white space, then the next one that you post, you probably want it to be nice and colorful and vibrant. Also, with Instagram, people are more likely to view blue colors or something with blue greens in it 60% more than any other color. That catches their eye more. And don't forget the whole rule of somebody has to see something in the environment 11 times. And this is where consistency comes in. Because with Instagram, it's not hard, but it's not easy. Because you have to constantly post all the time, every single day. And Fortunately for us, Instagram is not like Facebook. You're not going to junk up anything. You're not going to annoy people by continually to post several times a day. So you can post um, morning and night. I suggest at least morning and night, and if you can get a couple afternoons in there as well. The uh, best time to post an Instagram where you're gonna get the most likes and the most comments and the most feedback is early morning, 6, 7, 8 a.m., and late night, 10, 11, 12, um, midnight. So those are the times that I would suggest to at least make your post. But if you're a person who forgets, then set an alarm or you know use the mosaic because it will remind you that it's time to make a post. Um, the final thing that I'm gonna leave you guys with is do some giveaways. You know, if your Instagram is public, which it should be, because let's face it, <clears throat> if you make a private Instagram that people have to first ask to be 
asked to follow, then you have to approve, then they have then they're approved, and then they can see your stuff, you have already lost them. Okay? You want somebody to be able to follow you and be in done a story. That they're following you, they're seeing what you're posting, they're watching and looking, and they're interested. But if you make multiple steps in there, you've already lost them. So just remember that. Uh, but so you want this Instagram to be public. You have to be careful because you can't do those giveaways that you do on your um, on your Facebook, you know, private groups where you say, if you spend twenty five dollars, I'll give you a free chunk, or if you spend twenty five dollars, you get a free lip balm, whatever. But you can do just simple giveaways. I'm gonna do a giveaway. I'm giving away this Poppy Love. All you have to do is follow me, tag three of your friends, and I'm gonna pick a winner in 24 hours. There's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. And this is gonna be a way where you're gonna grow your Instagram and you're gonna get more viewers and you're gonna get more interactions. And remember, with the algorithm, the beginning, when you make that post, if you have people commenting and you have people liking, respond to their comments. It doesn't matter even if they're a business that just says, great post. Respond back with, thank you so much. Or, um, yes, I love this product because they are helping your algorithm. And when you comment back, you're helping your algorithm even more. So it doesn't matter if you look at it and say, oh, well, it's just spammy. It's just a... You know, it's just a company following me. Who cares? It's somebody following you, which is helping your algorithm. They're liking it. They're commenting. So you comment and like it back. And I hope some of these tips helped you guys. Uh, if you want to follow me, my Instagram name is perfectlyposh.mama. And happy Instagramming. Thanks. Bye.